almost, almost every country on earth, uh, we stand tall. Really? In the eyes of the rest of the world. Who better to bring in than American Enterprise Institute scholar Ambassador John Bolton? Why are you smiling? Because the man's dreaming. I mean, this is, this is exactly the kind of worldview that has led to an unprecedented American decline all around the world, in region after region. Uh, the only people who are happy with the direction America is going in are our adversaries around the world. But Obama does have one point absolutely correct. And that is, if we elect uh, Hillary Clinton today, she will continue his failed policy. She will be Obama's term on third term on national security. Uh, you're, you're, the, you're the ambassador to the United Nations from America. You know all the diplomatic circle. You know these world leaders. Who do they want in power in America, Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump? Well, I think there's a natural small c conservatism among diplomats. They prefer to have what, uh, what they know rather than something that they don't, don't know. So they probably prefer Clinton. But I tell you this, if, if you look at what they say about Obama, after complaining about George W. Bush for being too pushy, too assertive, uh, they now complain about Obama pulling back too much. They're never really happy with what America's doing, but what they fear more than anything else is a weak America, and that's what, that's what we've got now. That's, that's what will continue. I, okay. Now, uh, if Hillary Clinton does win, uh, she faces, uh, where are you? There you are. She faces allegations of pay to play, that's the ongoing foundation mess, and she also faces allegations that she missed handle classified information. The New York Post says she had her maid printing State Department messages, some of which could have been the nation's secrets. Those are kind of dark clouds, Mr. Ambassador, for an ongoing president. Well, this goes directly to the question, who will control the House and the Senate? Most observers think Republicans will control the House, that the Senate is still up in the air. But if Republicans take both houses, she will face uh, two or more years of unending congressional investigations. Uh, just on the email server, James Comey has ruined his own reputation. He's badly hurt the FBI and the Justice Department. I think there'll be extensive hearings on the conduct of the investigation, let alone on the email server. And the Clinton Foundation, as you just said, is uh, a field of investigation that could go on forever. Well, what about the supposed relationship between Putin of Russia and Donald Trump? This has got to be the silliest thing I've heard uh, in a long time. If I were Vladimir Putin sitting in the Kremlin, there'd be no doubt in my mind the president I would want would be Hillary Clinton. He knows her well from four years of dealing with her as Secretary of State. He knows she's just as weak as Obama is. He knows she's indecisive. I would fear a strong American leader, which is what Trump will be. Ironically, it is only a strong American leader that could deal with Putin and actually find areas of cooperation. If he has contempt for the president, he's not going to bother to deal with him. That's the way he's treated Obama. That's the way he will treat Hillary. All right, Ambassador John Bolton, thank you very much, Glad sir.